Today is August 4th, 2022, and I'm going to talk about a few things, um, just a few. Mainly, I'm going to talk about how I live in this town and how I'm being mistreated. It's a everyday thing for me. It's like every time I ride the buses, the bus drivers have an issue against me. It's more like discrimination. It's like I can't even get on a bus without the bus drivers trying to make me chase the bus or driving the bus past me. I don't understand what's the point of that. I feel exhausted emotionally, mentally, and physically. I don't know what it is about this town, but I'm starting to feel like there's a like a shadow just hovering over me constantly punishing me for no reason it's very draining especially for someone who could read energy I think that's why a lot of times I separate myself from people because I can always feel it. Like nobody has to say anything to me. I just know. I guess that's intuition. The sixth sense. But I can definitely read individuals very well if people only knew. It's like a like a type of hatred towards me they got. Discrimination. That's what it feels like. And it's like, I don't know what I've done to deserve that type of treatment. But I'm not even wasting time figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's ridiculous. You know, everybody's not going to be the same. Everybody's not going to like the same things. Everybody's not going to speak the same way carry themselves the same way, dress the same way. Everybody's going to like different things, and that's okay. You could be from the same race or background and be different, like different things, and have different personalities, and that's okay. Nobody is going to be the same nobody is the things that some people do to me it's like my god like how do you live with yourself being mean to me for no reason when I've done nothing to you but exist I just think it's just, it's ridiculous, you know? I'm a little tired again from the heat. Lately, the heat has been getting to me a little bit. And then again, I could just be thinking on things a lot. And it's to the point, like, sometimes I don't sleep. I just sit up and write. I write until I can't write no more. 
because I have to tell it to someone. So I tell it to the notebook. I put it on the paper. But I've been getting a lot of unfair treatment. And, you know, it takes a lot for me to, like, just keep my cool to not react. But it's very unfair. It is. It's very unfair. And then two people doing a lot of things at my expense. That ain't right either. And then some people act like they're entitled to punish me. That's what it feels like. They call themselves punishing me. For what? Being me? Like I said before, I don't apologize for being me. You know, God made me this way for a reason. I mean, if it was such a, sh a shameful feeling to be me, then God would have never created me. But obviously, he put me here for a reason, for a purpose. God wanted me to be here. And I'm taking my time to go to the bus stop. I got a little discouraged and walked off from the bus stop because I'm always like thinking, am I going to be able to ride that bus? Am I going to be able to get on there this evening or today or tomorrow or right now? You know, and so I found a bench and I'm sitting on it for a while for the next bus. And my neighbor, she's still up to harassing me, slandering me too. Yesterday, she sent some little kids to my front door to knock. And so I looked out and I was like, oh my God, why are these little kids running in the hall by themselves? And so they look no more than maybe under five by themselves, unattended, with no adult around. And they're just knocking on my door. And so I open it and I was like, looking like, oh my God. Like, how did you get here in front of my door? And then two, why are you by yourself? And so this one little girl, she looked at me, she said, are you okay? I'm looking like, yes. <laughs> and then she goes, here's a flower. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you. And so she hands me the flower and I'm looking like, okay, well, thank you. And then she goes, can I have it back? And I said, sure, you can have it back. And so I asked them, I said, are you okay? And so they all said, yes. And it also, it was another little girl and another little boy with her. And so, yeah, I asked them, are you okay? And it was like, yeah. And then they were like, um, is that a doorbell on your door? And I said, yes, it is. And so I told them, I said, well, you guys need to go home and don't wander in the halls. By yourselves like that because you don't want to get lost you should go home where your mommy's at and so next thing you know they walked off and I was like well have a good day and then they left and then what do you know my neighbor across the hall swings the door open and was looking like being nosy like just looking and I kept thinking if they watch everything that I, I do or anybody that comes to my door, they're watching all the time. And it's like, it's like they feel like they're entitled to know everything that's going on at my front door or what's inside of my apartment going on or when I'm coming home, when I'm leaving. You know, even when I'm out at a store, they'll follow me to the store. They'll have other people follow me. Like, yesterday, I went to Dollar General, and a female and a, another male, a female and a male, 
followed me to the store and let me know that they were watching me. Because they stood there while I was in the aisle and looked me in my face and then turned away. Like to let me know I'm watching you. And that's not the first time these individuals have done that to me. It's been many. But I just, I've never seen like anything like that. People do things like that. I've never seen that. Like, what is the point of that? What are you getting out of it? You're wasting your time and your life worrying about me. You should be going ahead on your business. You know what I'm saying? Instead of worrying about me. But it's a big bowl of negativity around here. And I don't like that. You know, it's it's very draining, you know? And I'm so used to being positive and upbeat and happy. You know, and smiling and joking and just laughing. Like, I'm tired of being around individuals who are just just about drama and trouble and want to fight and holler at you and cause problems all the time. You know, I'm not about that. I don't live like that. That is not my life. And it's just, to me, it's ridiculous. You know, especially the ones who are older, that really, really is shocking they're just as worse as the young people doing it you know they're supposed to be setting an example for people not um doing things like that it's like everybody wants to take shots at me you know take the shot at yourself because you're the one with the problem not me i'm living my life you know what i'm saying i'm trying to do what i have to do to to get myself where I want to be. I don't have to step on someone else or put somebody down to get ahead. I don't have to do that. I have enough confidence, respect, and determination to to depend on myself to make it. But what people do to others is ridiculous. And don't think for a second that karma has forgot you. It hasn't. You go around doing things to people like that, it does come back. I believe in that reap what you sow thing. Like, I mean, it's real. You know, the man upstairs is watching too. God is watching. God sees everything. And don't think for a second he doesn't see you when you're doing harm or causing trouble for someone else. He sees it. And my neighbors, they can continue to lie and manipulate and situations and target me. And do I think they had something to do with that car to hit me? Yes. I believe they did. Because they're so desperate to get at me all the time to be mean to me and do things to try to cause me harm. To me, that says a lot. That yes, they most likely had something to do with that. I wouldn't put it past them. And like I was told about my moped, the first one, I don't believe some kids stole it for a joyride. I believe it was taken to be vandalized on purpose to hurt me. But I've been having a lot of crazy things happen to me. And normally, that stuff does not normally happen to me. That's just people being being mean and cruel and spiteful. And just being ha- pure hateful. But that's all I want to say for right now. You know, I just had felt like I had to get that out.